Hi everyone. Um, I want to do uh, a little uh, jewelry thing. First off, I want to thank every uh, one that sponsored uh, for August 2018. This is the new list, and it's updated as of this morning. Now, um, what I have, uh, because a lot of people are asking me, what do you do with all those swipes, swipe things? Well, um, these are the dried swipe things. This one I made recently. What I do is I get my little mold thing and I hover over my uh, swipes, as you can see here. I hover over it and I pick out the most prettiest little thing that I can find from the whole swipe. That is pretty too. Look at that. Let me get in close. See that? How pretty that is? Or this one. Or maybe up here. Like That looks like a butterfly. Or down here. You know, with, this makes it easier to pick out something that looks really pretty. Wait a minute, my thing is going off. There it is. Okay, so then um, I choose what I really like. See, that is pretty too. Something like that. Then what I do is uh, go upstairs. I have a brother scan and cut. That is the machine you're looking for. Look at that. That is beautiful too. That would be beautiful. There are so many nice pieces that you can pick out. See that? That is pretty. Okay, so I pick uh, I pick out what I like. I put it in my brother scan and cut. It uh, scans the background, so I know exactly where to place um, the the little thing that I want to cut out. So then I measure the inside of the bezel. That's really easy to do. Then I cut it out. Then I put some of this diamond glaze, put that in the mold of in the setting. I press this down and make sure that, you know, some of it sort of spills out on the side because that's important. Then you know that you really have it in really tight. Okay, take that off. Now, then I put a little on top, just a little bit, and I spread that out because I want to add a little bit of uh, glitter. Now, just a tiny, tiny bit to make it <laughs> make it pop, you know, when the, when the light hits it. I'm not sure if you can see that. See that? And what I do is I pick out a color that fits with the uh, pour because then it's sort of like it has to be like that. Oh, man, look at that. I was going to do the resin, but the resin already... Uh-oh, look at that. That is already so hard. <laughs> look at that. I can I can just get it out. Look at that. Oh, boy. Okay. I'll have to start over. I thought I could still use some of it, but, um, but I can't. So what I do is... I get my, this is the, the stuff I use, Mastercast, Chem Resins, Mastercast 121, that's what I use. So this is the, um, the resin, and I'm going to put in, where's my measuring thing? There it is. I'm only going to put in like five milliliters. It's not much, it's a really little bit. That's it that away and then the hard hard stuff and gotta get to the measuring bit there it is that's enough then we have to stir it up of course you have to mix A with B there we go Make sure you get the sides, very important. So we're mixing it all together. 
and it's only a, a tiny tiny little bit but as you can see this would be enough for two or three of these uh, pendants there we go okay I think that's that's more than enough stirring now what I do is put it on one of these popsicle sticks and just drip it in smack in the middle that's what we do very slowly so if you have these little cups that comes in really handy what I do is just pick it up and scrape the bottom as you can see so you don't drip because you don't want to drip onto the bezel but you can see it grow and it it'll slowly move and fill the whole setting sometimes you want to help it a little then you drip on the the side where you need need it and you can see it slowly filling the setting because you you have to have it touch the side that's more than enough before before it, you know spills over so I have a, a little a slight dome and that you can see by the reflection a little dome but you don't want too much of a dome so I'm gonna pick it up hold it flat Uh, make sure the bubbles are out and that's it that's all you have to do now I'm gonna put this away and hope it, that it's level Okay, got to make sure that no dust can fall into it, so you have to put it under something. That's very important, people. A lot of people forget about that, so they fill all these little bezels, and then they have them on the table. They can't move them anymore, but you should get something like a stiff cardboard bit or something like that, which is totally level. It has to be 100% level. Then when you're ready, you can pick up the whole card, and you can just... Uh, Put it somewhere and you have to cover it because resin is really beautiful it's like glass but if you get dust in it that's when it turns a little bit ugly so you don't want to do that now i'm looking at this resin this is also really thick look at that i can't do much with that so we're going to throw that out and uh but this this really went really fast wow i wasn't expecting that and I think it's, it has a lot to do with the heat because it's so hot here. I don't want to mention it all the time, but guys, this is so, um, so not Holland because Holland is not a country where we have heat wave after heat wave after heat wave. You've heard me last year complain about not seeing the sun for about two or three months. That's usually what Holland is, but now we have this unbelievable heat and there's not an airco anywhere. They're all sold out. It's terrible. But okay, back to the jewelry. So what you saw me do is uh, really all there is to it. So the thing is that unless you have square uh, settings, which are really easy to cut with scissors, but as soon as you're going oval or you're going, you know, different um, patterns, it's really, really hard to get that, you know, beautiful shape that you can't see that you've been at it with the scissors. So you really need one of those machines. That's a brother scan and cut. And there's so many more projects you can do with them. So um, I like my scan and cut. Now there was someone else said from what are you talking about when you're saying you're going to punch? Well, this is a punch and this is a really big one. As you can see, this is my hand, really big heart shape. So what I uh, would do, let me get something ugly because I don't want to use those. Okay, 
Okay, I got an ugly one. Now, this is um, the same paper. All I do is open this up because I want to see what I'm going to be punching out. So you can more or less determine which one you want. And then you just punch it. And there you go. You have a beautiful heart. Now, with these, you can do a lot of things with this. You can make a collage. Or you can put resin on top, which I'm going to do now. Just a little. Oops. You can just smooth it out and make it waterproof like this. Because I had a little bit more resin that I... Ooh, uh, now i got some purple on it. <laughs> I'm such a klutz. Okay. That worked out. So um, you could also uh, just pour resin on these things and then when it dries it's nice and thick. You could stick it on some uh, magnet. Um, you have these magnet sheets that you can buy and you can cut with your scissors. So you could make this really pretty. Put some glitter in it if you like and then um, stick it on a magnet sheet. That way you can put it on your fridge. You can use it as one of those magnets that keeps those memos together. And uh, that's, uh, that's also something you can do. I'm going to let this dry on the table here. Uh, so I'm doing uh, three videos today. Just letting it build up a little bit so that it will uh, touch the corners. Now I dripped on my good painting, but that's okay. A little drip on there. Everything's sticky. Don't know why that is. Okay. Now there we go. That's pretty much really shiny. Last bit here. Got a little air bubble. Can pull that off the side. We'll just let it sit here, and then when it's dry, I'll peel it off the uh, plastic. I see a little bit that you really need some good light when you're doing this, because otherwise you get these little dents, and then you don't see it and if you miss it, you know, that has to go. Okay, that's it. Little air bubble. Okay, it's enough. Now, thank you for watching, guys. But this is what I do with all these little squishy squish things that I make. Well, I got a lot, you know, in a box. I don't really uh, make a lot of jewelry, but... As soon as the weather cools down and we're back to autumn and it's cold and it's dark outside, I get much more time to do the, uh, to do the uh, necklaces. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Love you all to pieces.